In this video, we will explore the features of Lemon Slice. To get started, visit their website at lemonslice.com. Once there, you can log in using either your Google account or Discord. After signing in, you'll be directed to the homepage, where you'll find three main sections. The first section is for creating your image, the second is for managing audio, and the third provides details about your video. Each of these features is excellent on its own, so let's take a closer look at each one. First, let's talk about the image creation feature. If you want to create a character, Lemon Slice offers a library of options. By clicking on Change Character, you can access a variety of public characters they've already created. These are simple, well-designed images that are ideal for dialogue-based projects. Additionally, in the My Characters tab, you'll find the characters you've created, which could be from uploaded images or text prompts you've used on the platform. These characters are saved for future use. When you create a character, it is automatically assigned a voice, which you can customize later. You have the option to create characters in different ways, such as uploading an image or entering a text prompt. For instance, if you want to create a character based on an image, you can easily drag the image into the interface. After naming your character, like Alexis, you can choose the aspect ratio for the image, typically selecting the 16 by 9 horizontal format. You can also assign a voice, with options ranging from system voices to the ability to clone your own voice by uploading a sample. One of the standout features of Lemon Slice is its unique system voices, each with distinct personalities. For example, there's a 1920s radio announcer, Alex, a British announcer, a cowboy, a demon monster, and more. These voices have their own pace and tone, giving them a lot of character. For Alexis, I chose the cowboy voice, which is one of my favorites. After saving the character, you can access it anytime by going to the My Characters section, where you can use it as is or restyle it by changing its clothes or overall appearance. In this example, let's start with a 3D Pixar-style character set in a field of flowers. We'll choose the 3D Pixar style in a field of flowers option, select a vertical 9 by 16 aspect ratio, and click Restyle. Within moments, we have a Pixar style character named Alexis placed in a vibrant flower field. Most of the images in this demo were created using this feature, showcasing the platform's impressive variety and style options. If you'd like to create a character from scratch, you can use the text to image feature. This works similarly to the character creator where you input a text prompt. For instance, imagine a young woman standing on a busy city street wearing a red jacket and carrying a shopping bag. After selecting the horizontal aspect ratio and clicking Generate, the character will be ready in just a few seconds. Now, let's move on to the audio section. We'll begin by focusing on the script feature, which lets you convert text to speech. For instance, you could have the young woman say, Hello and welcome to the bustling city street. It's more vibrant than any quiet corner, I'm sure, because I'm right here amidst it all. You can then choose from a variety of voices, including both system-generated voices and custom-cloned voices. You can select the voice you'd like from a variety of options. If you prefer to clone a voice, click Add New Voice, enter a name, provide a description, and upload a voice sample, then click Add Voice. Alternatively, you can choose a voice from the system list. For example, I'll select Danielle, an American female voice. Once that's done, Clicking Gen Audio will generate the voice reading your script. For added flexibility, you can change the voice midway. If you want to use a different voice for the same script, you can do so by clicking on the Voice Changer button. The recording is already there, and you can either use the existing voice or record a new one. For example, you could switch to a southern accent or try out a completely new voice style. After making your selection, click Generate, and the new audio will be produced. Alternatively, if you prefer to record your own voice, simply click Start to Record, speak your lines, and then upload the recording. This provides the option to either generate the audio with your own recording or change the voice, giving you full control over the audio content. This platform also offers AI-generated music, allowing you to create a song directly within the system. Once the music is generated, it automatically syncs the lip movements of your character. To demonstrate, let's select a male character and enter a prompt for a soloist song about choosing between coffee and tea. 
After clicking Generate Song, the system will take a few seconds to create the audio. Initially, I chose a male soloist, but the result didn't match the character, so I quickly switched to a more fitting character, a 1950s jazz singer in a suit on stage. After generating this character, we're ready to move on to the video creation process. In terms of video models, there are two options, version 2 and version 2.5. While version 2 produced decent results, version 2.5 offers significantly improved quality. The platform lets you select the resolution of the output video, and for the animation style, you can choose Auto Select, which automatically decides how to animate the image based on the prompt. You can animate the entire image, only the face, or multiple faces. Additionally, you can choose between Expressive, for more dynamic facial expressions but potentially less stability, or Stable, for smoother animations but fewer expressions. I'll choose Expressive for more dynamic results and opt to animate the entire image. As the video plays, the character sings about choosing between coffee and tea, with the song lyrics capturing the decision-making process in a light-hearted way. Once the video is complete, I'll scroll through and showcase different examples, along with the settings used for each one, so you can see how the parameters impact the final output. For easy reference, the platform allows you to view all the parameters used in creating the video. By clicking the three dots next to the video, you can access details such as the model, resolution, style choices, and a direct link to both the audio and image files used. You can also remix the video to adjust any settings if needed. For instance, by clicking Remix, you can revisit the script, audio, and other parameters used, giving you flexibility for future edits. Finally, the rendering time for videos is quick and manageable, especially for shorter clips. It's not like you're waiting for long periods, even for videos with more complex elements. Next, I created an image with two people and selected the Animate Multiple Faces option in the video settings. This animates both faces in the same way, which might not be ideal for scenarios like dialogue where individual expressions or movements are needed. Additionally, many platforms struggle when it comes to animating non-human characters. In this case, I generated an image of a robot, which is clearly not humanoid, and paired it with an audio clip. I recorded my voice and chose a villain female voice option, which added an extra layer of personality to the character. I also experimented with another exaggerated creature face to see how the system handled different styles and expressions. And that's a wrap for today's tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.